इट वॉज टेन सेवनटीन ए एम ऑन अ ब्राइट मंडे मॉर्निंग एट श्री हरिकोटा दी काउंट डाउन हिट जीरो एंड द ग्राउंड शू एस दी टू सिक्सटी टन पी एस एल वी सी सिक्सटी टू थंडर्ड इन टू दी स्काई मार्किंग इंडिया फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट टू रीच दी ऑर्बिट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स फॉर द फर्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स लुक लाइक अनदर टेक्सट बुक विक्ट्री फॉर इसरो The launch was described as spectacular, and Mission Control reported that everything was nominal as the rocket flawlessly cleared its first two stages. But eight minutes after liftoff, the cheering stopped, and a chilling silence gripped the control room. Just as the rocket entered its third stage, a sudden disturbance struck. The vehicle's flight path deviated. Telemetry vanished. and orbit insertion never happened in a heartbeat the mission was over leaving a vital defense satellite an experiment from a spanish startup and the dreams of indian university students lost in space this wasn't just a technical glitch it was the second time in 8 months that india's legendary workhorse has stumbled let's break down exactly what went wrong so the event was the launch of pslv c62 mission okay so it was launched on january 12th 2026 at 10:17 am from the first launch pad at the satish dhawan space center in shri harikota okay but the outcome was the mission failure all the 16 satellites that were on board this pslv launch vehicle that is the one primary satellite and the 15 co passenger satellites they all failed to achieve the orbit and are considered lost now the cause of the failure there was an anomaly that was detected at the end of third stage that is ps3 burn stage okay we all know that the pslv rocket is a four stage launch vehicle or it's a four stage rocket the first stage is the solid stage the second stage is the liquid stage the third stage is again the solid state and fourth stage is the liquid stage now from the first two stages they were perfectly okay they were nominal but it was in the third stage okay that we detected an anomaly and the broader context is that this marks the second consecutive failure for the pslv workhorse the pslv because of its reliance okay, it has been considered as the workhorse of the isro okay it is a very successful launch vehicle but the the recent two missions that is the pslv c61 and the pslv c62 these two missions okay they were not successful okay so following the c61 failure in may 2025 the long legacy of reliability of the workhorse that is the pslv it has been damaged so if we have to look at the timeline from the lift off to the silence so at at the ignition that is the ignition of ps1 that is the first stage we achieved a nominal lift off okay it was successful at the t0 then after the launch at 152 seconds 1.52 in the 1 minute 52 seconds later on there has been separation of the ps1 stage okay at an altitude of 60 km and this was also nominal 423 at after 4 minutes 23 seconds after the lift off we see the separation of the stage 2 which was also nominal and the mission has reached the height of 213 km then at in the next in the very next second that is 4 minutes 24 seconds after the lift off there was ignition of the ps3 that is the third stage there has been the third stage ignition and the performance was nominal for the majority of the burn but at the later stages okay after the 8 minutes and 14 seconds after the lift off okay on the just at the end of the ps3 stage that is the third stage we observed the anomaly so just prior to the separation the officials the isro officials they observed disturbance in the roll rates okay and because of that the telemetry lost and the orbit insertion of the satellites they failed So far, we have talked about the failure. So now let's discuss about the hardware, the actual launch vehicle that we have launched. So we have used the PSLV DL variant. 
okay now dl variant has the certain strap ons okay so it was the 64th pslv flight and the fifth flight of the dl variant that is along with the four stages we had the two additional solid strap ons the height is 44.4 meters and the lift of mass was 260 tons now pslv is a four stage vehicle so the first stage and the third stage are solid fuel and the second stage and the fourth stage they run on liquid propellants now the point of focus is the third stage now in the third stage we use the htpb based solid fuel propellant and the mass is 7.66 tons of the third stage and the role of the third stage and of any of the solid stage is to provide the high thrust okay so the solid fuel it burns and provides a very large amount of thrust so the role is to achieve high thrust solid motor for upper atmospheric ascent okay and this was also the site of the c62 anomaly okay the c62 mission of the pslv okay the anomaly happened at the third stage now in the words of v narayanan that is the isro chairman the performance was good until the end of the third stage when the disturbance happened the deviation in the vehicle's flight path was noticed by the control room okay now let's discuss what was on that launch vehicle so we had the strategic loss of a satellite that is eos n1 which is also known as the anvesha satellite which is the primary satellite that was supposed to be launched from this mission so it was developed by the drdo okay the anvesha satellite was developed by drdo and it is the earth observation satellite and it was used for it was supposed to be used for the maritime surveillance now the target orbit was the sun synchronous orbit at 505 kilometer of altitude okay so at 505 kilometer altitude we know that it's a low earth set uh, low earth orbit okay and particularly it's a sun synchronous orbit now the key capability of the lost satellite is the hyperspectral imaging and why it is important because unlike the standard optical cameras the anvesha satellite could see in the hundreds of wavelengths and this allowed us or it would have allowed us for precise material identification border surveillance and the agricultural planning so the anvesha was the earth observation satellite that was developed by the drdo for earth observation and maritime surveillance and the overall impact this has been a huge loss of the high value national security asset okay the satellite was supposed to be an asset for national security and now we have lost it now what are the far reaching global consequences of this failure okay so we had 15 co passenger satellites that were facilitated by the nsil the international ones were mainly the theos 2 satellite that was developed by thailand and uk the kid satellite that that was developed by spain and the ajusat satellite of the brazil and india's private sector also contributed to the co passenger satellites so the dhruv airspace a private space based entity it also had four satellites that were uh, that was supposed to uh, be deployed in this mission we had the space kids india satellite and the orbit aid aerospace okay talking from the academic point of view we had the cv raman global university it has also contributed a satellite and the assam's don bosco university so the payload okay so these universities also contributed towards the payload of the mission and the key innovation okay or the key technologies that we lost in this mission along with the uh, the satellites we had the kid which is the spanish or european prototype for a re-entry vehicle now these uh, uh, these payloads okay or these technologies they are they become important from the prelims point of view okay so now we also have the ayul set okay which was in which was india's first on orbit refueling payload and the dhruv space okay now dhruv space is a private space entity and it has also uh, sent four satellites it was supposed to send four satellites using the pslv c c62 now the major impact that we will 
that we anticipate is the commercial impact okay the commercial impact on the new space india or or or, or in india's space sector so the key stakeholder is the nsil which executed the ninth dedicated commercial mission okay and the private ecosystem like companies like the dhruv space they move from prototypes to the constellations where reliability is the currency and because of these consecutive failures of PSLV C61 as well as PSLV C62, there has been a tend to the investor confidence. Okay, so industry sentiment might change. The investors okay, who believed in ISRO or who believed in India's space sector, they might not take further risk. And this also challenges the legacy of our very own loved workhorse, that is the PSLV. Now, PSLV has a success rate of more than 94%. It, uh, from initial uh, initial years of 1990s till 2026, it has a historical legacy. Okay? It has launched successful missions like the Chandrayaan-1 mission in 2008 and the Mars Orbiter mission or the Mangalyaan mission in 2014. They all were launched by the PSLV launch vehicles. Okay? But... If we talk about the recent trends, the C-61 and the C-62, okay, they were failures or we were not able to achieve the desired outcomes. So, the two consecutive failures create a statistical anomaly, uh, anomaly in an otherwise stellar record and it indicates a potential systemic drift in quality control or manufacturing or something is going wrong somewhere. Okay? So, we can't have two back-to-back -back failed missions. So if we talk, uh, if we compare the two missions, so the issue in the C61 that was launched in May 2025 was a technical glitch in the third stage motor. And in the PSLV C62, we have again observed that the anomaly was at the end of the third stage. So it's the third stage which is a which is an area of concern. So there was a drop in the chamber pressure. So it's uh, and if we, if we talk about the specifics in the C62, there was a disturbance in the roll-on rates, and the overall result was the insufficient velocity in C61 and the loss of control in the C62. Now both the failures they had a common thread that is the solid fuel-based third stage. Now talking about the outcomes and the official response from ISRO till now. Okay, so, ISRO's statement was the immediate acknowledgement of the anomaly. Okay. The chairman V. Narayanan, he confirmed the launch was as scheduled with the nominal performance in stages 1 and stages 2, but data is under careful scrutiny. Now, if we talk about the action plan, there has been a formation of the failure analysis committee by ISRO to look into the factors okay, or to study deep into this loss or in this failure. There is a review of the telemetry to isolate the role disturbance source and freeze on the PSLV operations until the root cause of the failure is rectified. If we talk about the market reaction, there has been concerns over the 2026 schedule in which the ISRO is targeting to send 100 plus satellites in space. And the private sector partners like the Dhruv Space, they express resilience but they emphasize the need for a quick return to flight.